Hey guys, it's your girl Angie. You're watching Barbershop Conversations. Make sure to click the button below to subscribe, like the video, don't like it, leave a comment. Um, you can also follow me at um, Angelica Curtis on Instagram. See you soon. Barbershop Conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So let's get to my awards. One award I'm going to give out is Fight of the Year. It's between three candidates, Ward Kovalev, Salido Vargas, and Porter Thurman. Now, I'm going to X out Ward Kovalev for the simple fact, as you guys know, I was too emotionally involved in that fight to even pretend to be unbiased. And I told you guys going into that fight, if you wanted potentially unbiased uh, coverage of that fight not to watch my channel I don't like Kovalev I will continue not to like Kovalev and I was all in on Ward emotionally physically uh, only thing I didn't do was pay money <laughs> so so I'm gonna X out that fight so, which leads me to two Salido Vargas which is getting a lot of a lot of run and Porter Thurman I was at both fights Let's start with um, Salido Vargas. I believe that Salido Vargas was the week that Muhammad Ali passed, if I'm not mistaken. But getting into the fight, I think fight of the year is a fighter where you have to bring the best out of both fighters. I think fight of the year can't be when the best fighter in the ring allows himself to be dictated into a fight that he doesn't have to fight to win. And I think Vargas got conned into a fight that that uh, that Salido uh, forced him to. I thought Vargas was a more talented fighter. I thought Vargas was a more skilled fighter, more athletic fighter. But he allowed Salido to pin him in to pin him into a corner per se and, and make it into a uh, phone booth brawling um, out punching match. There wasn't naturally their skill, but it wasn't a lot of skill on a high level. Vargas has to do a better job at using more of his boxing, his pure, authentic boxing skills. So I enjoyed the excitement of that fight. Uh, it was a slightly cold night, too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but let's fast forward to uh, Thurman Porter. I flew out to New York for that fight. I thought, okay, the reason why I'm giving, I'm not even going to pretend like I'm not, I was going to give you a case, but the reason why I'm giving Porter Thurman the fight of the year is for in addition to what happened in the ring, outside the ring. At the beginning of the fight, Thurman 80-20. No one knew who Sean Porter was. I mean, they knew who he was, but they wasn't attached to him as they was the Keith one-time Thurman because obviously he speaks more outside the ring, so he'll get more of the casual fans. And uh, the girlfriends of the fans, you know what I mean? He got the hair, he's, you know what I mean? So he's he's more out there, per se. And uh, by round four or five, it was 50-50. By round eight, nine, it had completely flip-flopped 80-20. And um, that's one benchmark for a great for fight of the year. And two, when you get the best performance out of both fighters, Keith Thurman literally gave everything he had. There were moments in rounds 9 through 12 that he looked completely exhausted. And then there were moments when Keith Thurman landed his left hook on Sean Porter. And I'm like, how the hell did you do you stand up? And then in between rounds, you're getting standing ovations. I mean, they're pouring it. They're gassing. They tank out. Sean Porter gave everything he had. And, and and if you ask Sean Porter, he will tell you that he gave everything he had in that fight. And it's just a matter of opinion. You know, he lost by one point. 
It's literally a matter of opinion. Who's who's judging that fight? I had Sean Porter winning by one round. And uh, so I give Porter Thurman fight of the year. I was at both fights, but I think skills pays the bills. And I think we saw the best Keith Thurman that night, and we saw the best Sean Porter that night. We didn't see the best Francisco Vargas that night. We probably saw the best Salido that night, but we didn't see the best Francisco Vargas that night. And that's why I believe Porter Thurman is PBC fight of the year and he's Barbershop Conversations fight of the year. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Barbershop Conversations, we'll see who, who, uh, who it's going to be this year. So I'll talk to you guys soon again. I appreciate you guys' support, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Mine is at Miss Amanda Paris. Mine is PB underscore Miranda. Mine is A-N-N-E-L-I-S-G-J-R. And Leach. No one can spell it right. J-R. <laughs> Mine is Ashley to me. And on the count of, okay, now, y'all got to do this together, okay? Okay. Y'all have to say, um, <laughs> thanks for watching Barbershop Conversations, okay? Wait, Barbershop, Barbershop Conversations. Yep. Okay. Get in title, get in title. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> thanks, thanks for watching Barbershop, Barbershop Conversations. Conversations. Thank you, guys. <laughs>